Five from Hollywood. The Red Skelton Show, brought to you by Ed Evaporated Milk. First food for babies, first choice of good cooks. Pet Instant Non-Fat Dry Milk, richer in protein and minerals. And Pet Ribs Frozen Pies. Imagine apple pie like this every time. Yes, every time when you bake Pep Ritz real fruit country pies. It's worth a few pennies more to serve pie this good. Pep Ritz frozen fruit pies. The Red Skelton Show with David Rose and his orchestra. Oh. And stars, Vincent Price and Jackie Coogan. And the star of our show, Red Skelton. Grandma Moses from a genuine Van Gogh. You are missing something wonderful indeed. And it may be just a hobby that you need. You really should know some treasures of art. The works of the masters will gladden your heart. Hurry now to a good museum. That is how you can get a chance to see them. The moment you leave. Probably rush to purchase a canvas, some paint, and a brush. Who can tell you may sell all that you create? You'll see, like me, that painting is great. to buy for plenty of cash a picture that Freddy has found in the trash add a few jokes for you and you will be right you've got the plot we're doing tonight to the museum by Mrs. John J. Burton. Ah, it's magnificent. And this is a perfect example of Rubens' work, purchased from the estate of the late Andrew Vandergrift. Now, I've seen this somewhere before. Oh, yes. Uh, she won her fame on television commercials. <laughs> <laughs> and this, of course, is by the great Italian master Leonardo da Vinci. Oh, uh, that's odd. It doesn't have a frame. Well, it's even more unusual than you think. Just watch. Oh, hey, you weren't <laughs> kidding. That really is unusual. It looks something like an overcoat. Yes, it does look like an overcoat, and for a very good reason. What do you mean? Well, there's a very interesting story behind this painting, madam. It all began on the city dump. <laughs> it was a very cold day, and it was snowing. <laughs> Oh, 
happened one year and they didn't know how I was until spring thaw, you know. <laughs> Oh, it's, no, I thought it was dandruff. It had me frightened for a minute. Oh, oh boy, baby, it's cold outside. I got news for you. It's cold inside, too. What's <laughs> coming through that wall there? My goodness. Hey, we got to get something to cover up them cracks and keep out the snow. Yes, yeah, come on. Let's go out and look for something. Huh? All right. Oh, good heaven. Uh, let's see. Hey, how about this here? This... Oh, it's got too can... many holes in it. Here. Oh, no. Yeah. Hey, make a nice dress for Bridget Bardot, would you? <laughs> Are you crazy? She'd freeze to death. Well, I know, but it'd keep me mighty warm. <laughs> hey, hey, where about this pair to roll a canvas? Oh, that'll be fine, a canvas. That yeah. would be... Say, maybe we won't need it at all now. It stops snowing. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Stand over here, will you? Now, say it stops snowing. It stops snowing. <laughs> I've heard of big snowflakes, but this is ridiculous. Okay. Here, give me that thing. I thought maybe there'd be a letter from Mama. <laughs> Well, sir, as the pelican said when he ate the hell of it, that ought to fill the bill. Yep. <laughs> you got a hammer and nails, we'll put it out. <laughs> you fool it here, will Yeah, you? I will. I'm getting choked on this plastic snow. <laughs> here, here's the nail. All right. Ready? One, two, let her go. Oh! Oh! I didn't know you was Italian. Oh! <laughs> Somebody stole your banjo, huh? <laughs> what happened? What happened? When you said go, two of my fingers whacked. Oh, now, give me that. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Put it back up over here. Yeah. Yeah. There yeah. we are. Hey, what's under that dirt? More dirt. Yeah. Yeah. What does it say down hey, there? Hey, uh, It says, uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci? You ever heard of him? No, he sure needs to shave, don't he? Oh, I, I, let's see what da Vinci looked like when he was a young man. Yeah. Oh, he was a ginger? Yeah. <laughs> That's a realistic painting. Maybe it's not. Maybe I just painted on it. Oh, here we go. Well, you know, I heard about a couple that lived out in, out in Pasadena, and they found a, a painting worth millions on a dump. <laughs> well, over in Pasadena, they have a better glass of garbage. You know? <laughs> Hey, you see that there? She go, maybe it's there. <laughs> How about that? Oh, Leonardo da Vinci turned out to be Lillian da Vinci. <laughs> you know something? It might, be, it might be worth something. We better check an art collector. A collector? Oh, you think it might be? Yeah, let's go. We got something valuable in here. Here, we better. Here. What are you doing? Have you no sense of responsibility at all? <laughs> if we have a masterpiece, why don't we do something to protect it? <laughs> How are we going to get out of here? You follow me. Mm. <laughs> well, still no letter from Mama. <laughs> Sorry, madam, our paintings start at $10,000. Yes, Gilbert Galleries represents only the finest artists. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Uh. Oh, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, sir. 
Oh, good afternoon. I'll be with you in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. You must be a couple of models for a painting of Skid Row. I beg your pardon, sir. My colleague and myself, we have an art treasure. Uh, you don't mean to tell me that you're a collector. You might say that. <laughs> you two hobos, get out of here. I'm a very busy man. Oh, but wait a minute. We, we found a painting by Leonardo da Vinci. I don't care who it's by. It's oh, it's a da Vinci. You don't... His mother was frightened by an owl. <laughs> you know. Walk this way, but be careful. You can never tell what's under the snow, you know. On one occasion, I I passed up a Rembrandt, and on another, I, I let a Gainsborough slip through my fingers, but I couldn't live with myself if I if I passed up a, a Da Vinci. My, what a revolting atmosphere. <laughs> oh, I've never seen such a miserable slum. Yeah. If you think this is bad, wait till you get inside. <laughs> Just a minute. This happens to be a G.I. home. A G.I. home? Yeah, gee, I wish I was in Beverly Hills. <laughs> Come, gentlemen, follow me. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, here we are. <laughs> Don't do that! Why don't you look in the mailbox? There may be a letter for Mama. <laughs> Good grief, the missing Da Vinci. Well, what do you think, Mr. Gilbert? What do you think? What do I think? Well, I think, I think, I think, I think it's absolutely worthless. It's just a, a cheap copy of the original. Oh, you sure? You sure? Yes, of course. Any idiot can see that. Well, you don't have to call yourself names, you know. <laughs> well, of course, I can always use this canvas to clean brushes. But I tell you what, I'll give you uh, $10. $10? Well, now, that's mighty generous of you. But on second thought, I think it's worth more than that to keep the snow out. Snow? What snow? Come here, look. Just a moment. Here, let me help you out here. Just a moment there. Good heavens! If you call me to fly, I'll belt you right over the head. <laughs> Look. <laughs> you give me this painting. I'll give you the painting. And I'll have this whole wall plastered. Yeah, I'll plaster you too, boy. <laughs> you know, for a worthless. Oh! <laughs> oh, right, I'm a friend of yours. I walk on him. You walk on him, so can I. Say, yeah. uh, say, I know something you don't know now. What? You're on my foot. <laughs> You know, he's awful anxious to get that worthless painting. Yeah, I think there's something rotten in Denmark. I think it's closer than that. <laughs> really? Look, why don't I just buy this whole shack? Now you're talking. Now you're talking. I'll give you $500. $500? There you are. Oh, One, two, three, oh, four, four, five. Is this deductible, isn't it? <laughs> See, it's, you know, <laughs> now that you bought that uh, shack, how about buying that canvas to keep the snow out? What? What? <laughs> that canvas goes with the shack. No, it don't. You didn't buy the place furnished. <laughs> Nonsense. I'll give you $10,000 for that worthless painting. I'm sorry, but this worthless painting is not for sale. All right, I'm leaving, but I'm warning you, you'll be sorry that you didn't sell me that worthless painting. Mm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Close the door. There's a draft in here. <laughs> Want to know something? What? They didn't build that door very good, you know. <laughs> you know, he may be after that painting, but I think it's us he's trying to frame. <laughs> You 
Gino, there is absolutely no doubt about the authenticity of this painting that those hobos have. The brush strokes of Da Vinci, the color tones of Da Vinci. I tell you that this painting is priceless. Ah, and you want to buy it, eh? Yes. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars for a Da Vinci? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, look, uh, Gino, as of this minute, you are the greatest art critic in the whole world, aren't you, Gino? Huh? <laughs> if you say so. Yes. Well, now, look, it'll be easy. Those old bows have no idea of what this painting is worth. They have absolutely no notion of its true value. <laughs> say, Muggsy, what are you going to do with your million dollars? <laughs> I think I'll buy me a railroad. A railroad? Yeah, I always wanted a feather bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the door. Oh, I thought it was the termite taking up tap dancing. <laughs> yeah? Ciao, senor. Ciao. Oh, you've got the wrong place, my dear man. The mission is up at the top of the hill. <laughs> No, 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 senor. You do not understand. Hmm. Ciao is Italian for hello. Oh? Ciao, 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 ciao. Oh, good. Sure, <laughs> <time. laughs> Permit me to introduce myself. Oh. I am Gino Antonio Vittorio Mario Ravaghetti. No kidding. I ordered you once an Italian recipe. <laughs> I am the foremost art painter from Rome. Oh. Uh, you have a famous painting here, no? Uh, no, we have a famous painting here yet. Uh, see, I like that accent of yours. It's kind of catchy. What part of Chicago are you from? <laughs> 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 Boy, I never met so many hokey legitimate actors. <laughs> Please, senor, I am from Florence. Yeah, I didn't ask you where you were from. I, I asked you where you were from, not who you were from. <laughs> Mamma mia! What is that? Mamma mia! What is that? It's a picture of his mommy. Oh. Mamma mia! What a disappointment. Yeah. What? I am wasting my time coming here to see that painting. Oh, it might be worth a lot of money. Ah, it is worth nothing. I have seen better artwork on top of a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good morning, Freddie. Well, what a coincidence that you should show up at this time. And I was just taking my morning constitutional in the city dump. <laughs> and I thought I'd drop by. <laughs> well, I thought I'd just drop by and see how you boys were doing with your worthless painting. Yes. Mm. I'm going to look that all up after the show. <laughs> Remember what happened to old W.C.? <laughs> hey, yeah, something I think you should know, Mr. Gilbert. Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Take a look at that, would you? Jack Parr walks off of... No, no. <laughs> the headline. Read the head. Hobo's painting worth fortune. <laughs> Get along with this. Priceless Da Vinci found in Hobo's shack. Leading critics agree on onsen tickety of rare painting. Onsen tickety? Yeah, it rhymes with the binky. Oh. <laughs> it might do you good to know that there were a few art critics here earlier today. Freddie, look, I, I must have that painting. It's, a, it's an obsession. No, it's not. It's a da Vinci. <laughs> All right, I'll give you a million dollars. I'll give you a million dollars for that worthless painting. No, I'm sorry. I would have given it to you for the first ten that you offered me. But you tried to cheat us, and that's what we won't stand for. We won't work with crooks. That's why we live here. We're living a clean life. Oh, but I must... <laughs> I must have that painting, Freddy. Once I had an, a, an original Utrillo, and once I had an original Gauguin, but I, I, I have never had an original Da Vinci, and I must have that painting. I must, I must, I must. I must have that painting. You know, I once had an original skeleton show. <laughs> With him? What? He's been watching too much of Loretta Young. <laughs> <laughs> Rare old painting worth six 
million dollars. Yipe! Over my dead body. That's the way it's gonna be, because he's got a crazy look in his eye, and I think he's carrying a gun. Well, who's afraid of a gun? You are! Well, thanks for telling me. <laughs> here, put it out here. Put it in the closet. Put it in the closet. Under <laughs> here? No, that'll be the first place. Just put it under the rug. And close the door. Rod! What rod? Oh, that's right. They've got that too, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> Please close the door. There. Here, here. I, I'll take care of it. You go stall him off. I, I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. All right. Well, Zabinki, either you get cut up or I do. It looks like it's going to be you, Zabinki. Ah, uh, hello, Mr. Gilbert. Are you looking for Freddy? Yes, I want to talk to him about that painting. Oh, the painting. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. He, he took the painting and he went over to your place. Oh, he did, did he? Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't see him. You didn't, huh? No. Well, did you come over the park and the, through the, the tunnel and then over the bridge and down seven? Yes, yes. No wonder you didn't see him. He never goes that way. <laughs> We don't care as long as it snows. Seas and birds says we're on the nose. <laughs> What's my needle? Hello! That painting! There's no painting there! Look, Freddy, I'm gonna get my hands on that painting if it's the last thing I do. You're mighty warm. <laughs> Never mind the wisecracks. Where is that painting? Please, you're wrinkling my heart, Schaffner, and Da Vinci. <laughs> I mean, my overcoat. Where is that painting? I cut it up. You cut it up? Yeah, I cut it up. You cut up a Da Vinci. <laughs> Da Vinci. <laughs> you said it was worthless, remember? Oh, no, no. Oh, you should have a headache doing that. What's <laughs> my furniture, too? <laughs> now, I didn't hurt the painting. See, I cut around that. It's still good. Now he tells me. <laughs> And that explains why the painting is in the shape of an overcoat. Exactly. When Freddy donated this painting to the museum, he insisted that we keep it in this form. Pardon me, please. Uh, excuse me. Can I change the painting? I forgot something I left in the pocket up here. Yes, yes. My cigars. I haven't had a price for a month. <laughs> A letter from Mom. Don't go away. Red will be back in a minute. Next week, Red's guests will be Keith Russell, George O'Hanlon, and Clem Cadiddlehopper. On behalf of the makers of Pet Milk, may we thank you for making our visit possible and remind you that next week, Pet Milk brings you the Red Skelton Show. <laughs> next week, Johnson's Wax, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Good night now. <laughs> Tonight, the Red Skelton Show is brought to you by the Pet Milk Company's family of fine food.
Hello, friends. This is Gary Moore speaking for the gang, and tonight's guest stars Gertrude Berg and Gene Nelson. Our show starts in just a moment on most of these stations, so be sure to stay tuned.